guys, it's Roland. Welcome back to more to some more uh, Shovel Knight Spectre Tournament. The sound is a bit loud. We're gonna ignore all you guys for now. So we took on Polar Knight last time. And this time we're going to be taking on, I believe I said, um, Treasure Knight. So, I guess it's time to be off to, uh, Treasure Knight stage. So, here we go. Oh, it's something a little different. A little change of pace. I'm not doing Propeller Knight until last because that's just... It's just what I do. Alright, I forgot it has these little bubble things. See, that's kind of why I like this campaign. As much as I rag on it for certain things it does and decisions it makes. And why did it point downward? So yeah, as much as I rag on it for things that it does still really like this game and it won't let me drag it so because it, it this campaign more so than the Plague of Shadows campaign really kind of switches things around with Pl Plague of Shadows it was more like um here's this new boss and well this new character you can play as and instead of really giving you a lot in terms of like new content, they were just like, here we're gonna use, reuse the same, like, almost everything. Except for certain story elements, of course. But. With the uh, Spectre Torment, it really does seem like they revamped no. almost everything about this game. They changed, they like remixed the music. They changed the level design like a lot. Can we get another arm? Are we gonna get another arm? Doesn't look like it. Darn it. That's alright. Secrets are not important in this playthrough. We gotta go down here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Ooh. Oh man, I completely missed it. Oh well. I don't know if I remember how to do this. Ah! Ignore Red Skull. No. You wanna go up. Going down. And then up. And then, no! Okay, phew! But yeah, they, they really ramped it up in this campaign, in my opinion. Changed the music, they changed the level design, while giving you um, a different story for one of the knights, which... I kind of really like. Let's see if we can back him into it. Come on. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I can ignore that. Jim. Alright. This might have been the one with the annoying fish. That I got st I got stuck on the thing. Oh, come on. I got stuck on that thing in the, in the original Shovel Knight campaign, and I think I remember getting a little stuck on it in this campaign as well. Please, I need some food. There we go. But so far, so good. Oh, it's this fish. Yeah, this one. I got stuck on this one, this little mini boss in the original Shovel Knight, and I think I can't remember if I get stuck on it in this campaign as well. No, I'm just following you. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna be dead if you don't 
これ。No, no, 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 About halfway through the level before having our first death. Run away! Ah! No, 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 no! Where are they gonna put me? Okay, I'll take that. Bye. 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 Okay, we'll let him come on this side. There we go. That's so much better. I think you only have to hit him like 10 times or so. His little orb thingy. There we go. Oh man. I think we can collect. Yeah, you can collect those little fishies.、Uh, I guess we're gonna leave our money bag behind. That's fine. It's not like money is super hard to come by in this game. Wait, face the right way. Um, how do we. How do we. Oh, that's right. Got it. No! I kind of showed you right there what you're supposed to do, but I messed it up. Okay, first we're gonna get rid of you. You gotta use this little energy bubble thing to make it across. Oh no. Okay. Good job. Good job. So far, pretty good job. Minus launching that accidentally when I wasn't ready. We gotta go on the other side. Oh man, no! Man, this stinks. Come on, why did you like jump off right there? Okay, let's see. Safe jumps. We got rid of the blocks. And we're dying again. Seriously. The round sinking hole. Oh, that wasn't where we wanted to fall. Gosh darn it, game. Why are you so annoying? Why are you so annoying sometimes? A lot of precise jumping, that's all. Sometimes that's just not my exact forte. I say that yet, I will play a Mario Brothers game to no end. Oh, wrong, wrong side, wrong side. Yeah, I will play a Mario game to no end, like. I have Mario 3. Oh, come on, what hits me? I have Mario 3, like original Mario 3. There we go. And if my Nintendo would still work, is this just a secret? I think this is a secret area. If my original Nintendo would work, I'd still be playing that. But I do have. It for my um, PS. And I do play it there 
and everybody have a little downtime-ish. Not taking any chances with that. Oh, this guy. Speaking of Mario 3, this guy reminds me of that blobber fish. I don't know. I don't remember his name. That one giant fish in the water level that would like eat Mario? No, 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 no. Where's it gonna put me? More fish. Come on. Oh, really? How does that not kill me? Usually you only get like one hit. There's still a fish, fish floating there. Oh, come on. That's gonna kill me. Seriously, what was that name of the fish in Mario 3? I don't remember his name. But this guy definitely does remind me of him. I think I was thinking that too in my original playthrough of this game. Not that there's anything wrong with it. It's a good game. Good source material. Can you just move? Do you have to be so annoying? Secret? We don't need secret. Bye. Bye. No, oh, bye. Bye. If, um, Specky would stop jumping, bye. Okay, not bugging me. I, got, I gotta know what the, what the name of this fish thing is. Okay, so the fish's name is Big Bertha, apparently. Look it up. You'll know what I'm talking about. The problem with these jumps is you're so floaty because of the water element. But this should mark boss door. Great. Great timing with this. I just brought my ship to the surface and already I find a beggar on board. I'm not here for a handout. Instead, I bring a proposition. Unrestricted salvage rights and a place as the Enchantress's financier. Oh, I'll gladly spend gold to make gold, but how can I take your word that my investment would be secure? Our deals go far beyond words. Behold a glimpse of the power she commands. So actually, Treasure Knight, thinking, thinking back, Treasure Knight has been the most accepting of the Enchantress. I mean, if you kind of exclude Black Knight, he doesn't really count. I guess he does, but he kind of doesn't at the same time. And that boss fight right there, he was a complete pushover. Seriously. That was r ridiculously easy. The level was harder than his boss fight. I think I've said that before, that some of these boss fights, like, their stages are harder. Which you would think would be the opposite. But whatever. Mixes it up, I guess. So before we end this video, we're going to go say hello to Treasure Knight. I was told there was a banquet hall. This, this is a travesty. The only thing fit to order here is a complete renovation. Thanks for that, Treasure Knight. Whee! Okay, guys. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and on the next episode, we're not going to be doing Propeller Night, we're saving that for last. We'll be taking on the Clockwork Tower and Tinker Night. 
We're almost done with this game, guys. I'm pretty excited. Look at all that progress we've made. So until next time, bye, guys.